I go searching for Dr. Seuss, and this time I find him. Hi everyone, I'm Scott Davenport and thanks for joining me this week on In the Field. So um, a few episodes back, I shared uh, an ill-fated attempt to go visit the Geisel Library on the University of California San Diego campus, which is named after Theodore Geisel, aka Dr. Seuss. Well, this time around, uh, regrouped, did a little more studying on what day would be a good day to go there so I could avoid any type of campus rushes or major events that would uh, interfere with the attempt. And I'm happy to say I succeeded uh, and actually took a quite a bit of footage while I was out there. So without further ado, let's uh, take a quick peek on the maps and then I'll show you some footage from the shoot. Here is San Diego downtown and to the northwest up in the coast area is the University of California, San Diego. You see the campus is quite large and right here is the Geisel Library. Let me switch to 3D and satellite so we can get a good look at this library here. There we go. So there it is. You can see it pretty clearly on the maps and it rises up really high. The entrance is actually, you know, this uh, walkway downward into the base and all around these side panels and walls are, are you know, chambers and rooms and you know, very, very large facility. You know, but getting a look at this thing, rotating around, you can see that it is, uh, if you're into architecture, this is a really nice structure. There's lots of different angles you can shoot from. And so I walked all around this. Uh, you'll see that in just a moment here with the footage, you know, surveying and trying to decide what I wanted to make uh, my composition. So let me uh, get you out there on site with me. I'm standing outside the Geisel Library on the campus of UCSD. and. Uh, I'm just really uh, walking around the building right now, taking a few test shots. I've gotten up close, that little corner on the uh, left-hand side of your screen right now. And that was too close to the building, too far underneath, and you couldn't see these upper windows. So uh, now I'm just taking uh, steps back, and uh, not too much happening in the sky, so this is going to be much more a shot about composition, shape, structure, and symmetry. I've settled on the composition. I'm uh, pretty close to the building, so I cannot even begin to fit everything in the video camera frame that I have with the, uh, the Sony. I'll show you here on the back of the screen kind of what things are looking like right about. Let me focus that. There we go. So something like that. And uh, let me take a snap. I'll show that to you on the screen. And why I chose this composition is uh, the diagonals. I've got the, the railings and the walkways leading in from either of the lower corners. And then the diagonal support structures holding up the library, those are coming in at interesting angles. I, did, I decided not to go precisely symmetrical on this one. Um, I, I like how the, the building looks a little more distorted. Uh, and, and just you know, those diagonals keep you know, shooting through the frame and still leading me all the way back into the center. A couple more points about the setup on the camera. So I'm shooting at f16. And it's already, that's giving me a, a half a second exposure for the nominal. I am shooting bracketed. So you can see here I have the uh, two brackets, or sorry, two stops, three shots bracketed. So negative two, zero, and positive two. And that's really uh, more of a crutch to make sure that I get a good blend of highlights and shadows. The sky is very bright as compared to the darker shadowy areas underneath the building. And uh, I may need to do HDR, or maybe just some blending, I may not. We'll, uh, we'll see about that in post. My job right now in the field is to make sure I come away with good exposures so I have plenty to work with back in the studio. After a little fine-tuned tweaking on the composition, cutting out a little more of the, the foreground railings, I've gotten my main exposures, and now it's just a waiting game. I'm going to hang out a little bit longer, let it get darker, so more of these interior lights come on. And I As you saw in the footage, uh, I spent a lot of time working the scene, walking around, trying different angles, taking lots of test shots. You know, it's one of the beauties of digital. And that's really the, the tip of the week, is to work the scene. Don't just take the walk-up shot that is usually not your best shot. And uh, you know, taking a little time to wander about, don't be shy about framing up things, trying things. Even if they turn out bad, you throw them away later. 
you know, again, the beauty of digital photography. That's all for this week in the field. If you have questions, please reach out, contact me. You can hit me up through my website or on social media. Um, Twitter seems to be the most reliable in terms of you know, actually getting a notification that someone's asked me something. Um, other ones like G Plus tend to get lost in the shuffle and sometimes I never get them at all. So if you've contacted me through social media and I haven't responded, uh, I'll apologize in advance, but it is probably because I didn't get notified. Email is still the best bet for me. Uh, you do that right through my website. It'd be great to hear from you, get your questions in, uh, or just tell me that you're enjoying the show and that helps me keep going. So until next time, I'm Scott Davenport and thanks again for joining me.